Students often panic when I give them a question that has roots in it and I ask them to find the first derivative. But it's just because they've forgotten a few basic concepts from previous grades. So if I gave you the square root of x, you can't take the first derivative like that. What you need to do is rewrite it in exponent form. So the way it works is you take the number that's on the inside, which is a 1, and the number that's on the outside, which is a 2, and you write it as x to the power of the number on the inside over the number on the outside. Once it is written like that, then you can use what we did. Well, then you can use the technique that we did in the previous video, where this half would multiply into the front, since that would be a half, and then you would minus 1 from that exponent. Well, a half minus 1 is negative a half. Then, depending on which school you are in, or which curriculum, for example, the IEB curriculum doesn't really require us to change anything at this point, but the CAPS curriculum does. So they don't want us to have answers with negative exponents. So what you do is this half, you leave it as it is, then you put the x at the bottom, then you can make it a half again, like that. Or you could do it like this, you could write it as 1 over 2, x to the half, it's up to you. I just prefer this method as it's very straightforward. So then we can look at the, well let me first write this, this was a half over x to the half, then the 7x31, so that looks like this, and so we just write it as x to the power of the number on the inside over the number on the outside. Then you just do the same thing, so you multiply that to the front, so that'll be 3 over 7, then you minus 1 from that, which will give you negative 4 over 7, and so you're left with 3 over 7 over x to the 4 over 7. So the final answer for this one is 3 over 7 over x to the 4 over 7. And so the derivative of that whole expression is equal to that over there. Let's try another one. So with this one, we can first write it in exponent form. So that's always going to be the number on the inside over the number on the outside and so minus x, so the number on the inside for this one is a 1, and the number on the outside is a 2. That's by definition. If there's no number on the outside, then it's a 2. And now we can use the normal method. So we just multiply this 4 over 5 in the front. We then minus 1, so 4 over 5 minus 1 is minus 1 over 5, minus a half, because I multiplied this half to the front. Then I have x, and then I minus 1 from that, so that's going to be negative a half. Then I just check that there's no negative exponents. In this case there are. So I write it as 4 over 5 over x to the 1 fifth minus 1 over 2 over x to the half. And that's the answer. Let's try another one. And so our first step is going to be to just rewrite it. So I'm not going to put this over here because I'm not taking the derivative yet. I'm just simplifying it first. So we'll rewrite it as 3x, and then that's going to be to the power of 1 over 2. Remember, this 3 over here is a number in the front. It's not the 3 over there. Then I say plus 2x to the power of the number in the, in the, on the inside is 3, and the number on the outside is this little number, which would be here, which is if there's nothing there, then it's a 2. Now I can take the derivative, so I can show it like that. And so this half will multiply to the front, so that's going to be 3 over 2x, then I minus 1 from that exponent, so that's minus a half, plus, I then multiply these two together, this is going to give me 3x, and then I minus 1 from that, and that's just a half. I then look for any negative exponents, yes there are negative exponents, so I go 3 over 2 over x to the positive a half, plus, and then this part is okay, so I can leave it as 3x to the half. And that's it.